Awesome. Oh, it looks good. It's a joke. <laughs> That's good, because I'm glad I got to at least prove it. I was like, what Who? What do I do? What do you do? Yeah. Okay. Look at the oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Always getting me into something random. <laughs> when you let those words you really reach for that But I've been down held my tongue Hi, my name is Jonabel. I am the CEO and founder of Beauty House and Zen House, and that's what I do. <laughs> Beauty House is a micro spa. We're a creative studio for a lot of beauticians, as well as all kinds of different mediums of wellness. Zen House has begun as a artist community uh, with all forms of like craft and uh, craft classes and tea concepts and we've expanded to becoming a coffee shop as well. I definitely think a huge influence has been my childhood. I, I am a spa child. I grew up with my mother being an esthetician as well. She is and always has kind of developed things in her own way. For as long as I've been born, I've been by her side like with some form of beauty service and I feel like for a long part of my life, uh, I tried to fight it and I tried to go into different, you know, divisions of math, math, like engineering and things like that. But wellness is always just like, I feel like come natural to me and like taking care of others just makes me feel like I'm in the right place. And so in starting the concept, it was originally just supposed to be an expression project or just a passion project to figure out like more or less like what the services that I could offer could impact the beauty industry and how they could kind of change things and, and we just started from me and one teammate at a time we've kind of developed this whole space so it's it's definitely been a, a, a different way of approaching opening a company or a business because I was very open to whatever it would become I just wanted to make sure that we had a space for it and that we started with each division at a time. I actually was working in my mom's company for a while and I'm sure that a huge part of her was you know wanting me to take that on however just being an individual and just craving like a need to have something of my own and be able to express and create something that I've done on my own started to become extremely important to me. I felt as though I have an incredible desire to create and build experiences, but I didn't know how to house it. I don't know if I knew that I was ready to become an entrepreneur because even when I signed like a lease to this space, I remember thinking it was ridiculous that you had to sign something for three years. I was like, how in the world does anybody stay somewhere for three years and do the same thing? I remember not really just grasping what I was stepping into until I started building a team and realizing I need to support these people and I'm, it's no longer just me. And I feel like I, I, I became an entrepreneur unintentionally and then I realized that I have a great desire to make sure that the people around me are treated fairly and they are given the ability to create and express in the way that like I like to. My entire like career started because I was working pop-ups and I was kind of pushing and doing like different events around the city. So like when we opened Beauty House, we had to host a market. Like it just didn't feel right. I had already been, even m weeks before we opened, like been working pop-ups every other weekend and doing that like two, three years before. So it was like, okay, where's my pop-up? And so it was here. And hopefully this was an attempt to kind of finally give back and give the experience to those vendors I had always been wanting. First is an affordable vendor fee. I wanted to make sure that it was attainable because a lot of new artists are discouraged from doing markets. It's probably the most intimidating thing that somebody can kind of step into, but it usually propels their career in so many different ways because you get a first-hand communication with your market and your clients it's not just online it's it's that in person that makes that difference for you and, and usually changes your confidence and whether or not you want to pursue your artist career our markets were really important to kind of pivot everything in in what I felt like we needed a change on and then yeah and then they started growing so after our first market it was just on the third floor you could barely like walk if you went did you go by chance if you got to go to the first one 
and like to me you were a writer because I, I feel like so many people showed up that day we were so shocked and it was like the tiniest little walkway and like 30 people were like trying to walk down in different directions and I was like okay I need a little more room and I had a lot of resistance at first but we started to expand and we started to make it happen on the second floor and then we started to expand to the third floor uh, or the first floor and then now it was three floors and that's when it really became an experience almost like a festival over the years we just kind of got better with like organizing it and now it's it's something that really is valuable to us and we will never skip a market we've been we've had markets in like sleeting rain and some of our vendors have told us they've had the best turnouts that they've ever had so we don't miss a market they're always gonna be there every third Friday it takes a lot to step into your creative side of your life. Pushing yourself to really like be your truest form. And some people will like, I'd even cry some people don't even ever get to experience that. They never attempt that because of certain influences and people and words that you've been told. But one thing is for certain that every negative thought that you have about yourself or every self judgment that you carry that holds you back from it is not your own thought. It was somebody else's. So the moment that you're free of these outside influences or these weights that hold you back from what you're really meant to do because we all kind of know what it is you know we all know it's it's very deep down for some of us but we know and the moment that you just take away those words that were not really yours ever in the first place is the moment that you finally can breathe and feel like you're living like the life you're meant to live you know whether that is entrepreneurship because i don't believe that, that is for everyone Sometimes it's really just being able to create for once and express yourself for once, you know, in a form that you thought that you needed so much else for or somebody to come save you. Nobody saves you. It's, it's you, 100%. And it's totally worth it. Whenever, like in your 30s, in your 50s, in your 20s, whenever you decide to come around, just hopefully everybody gets to experience it, you know? But yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, I mean, doing this with us in general. Yeah. Obviously it's an honor. <laughs> Obviously. It's an honor.